Okay, boys and girls, sports fans, it's Den here, and uh, I'm sitting with Holger Mueller with Constellation Research, and we're at VMworld 2013, 10th anniversary. That's right. I'm a virgin, this is my first time. I wouldn't come to a geek thing normally, but I've been told I've got to come to a geek thing. What about yourself? How many times have you been? Virgin too. First time. So what are we going to talk about? Well, that's interesting, because I mean, this is a this is a mega geek fest, right? 23,000 I understand people here. Um, most of them technicians, technical types. I'm a business guy. You're kind of a geek anyway, aren't you, right? Half geek, half business. Okay. What are you finding? What are you, what are you seeing here? It, it's really interesting to see how, how geeky it is, right? And how some executives have been calling it a cut. So yeah, very, that's worrying, isn't it? Very, very passionate use of it. But if you think about it, right, if you virtualize your compute, yeah. it has something of a magical thing, right? You are trusting those machines to stand there doing their work, and all of a sudden you're running double the amount of that. Right? Yeah. yeah. So there's some magic in there. Okay. But all of this, I mean, I went down on the, on the shop floor, the, uh, you know, where all yeah. the stuff is, and I mean, I'm kind of seeing uh, hardware manufacturers and storage manufacturers and stuff like that. And I'm thinking, well, I know that, that data is exploding, right. but how am I going to get this as, as something that the business needs to understand? I mean, where, where does this company sit there from your perspective? But I think that's where they have a huge challenge, right? As a transitioning, as we have the keynote here, from um, purely being a compute virtualization hypervisor guys to become the software defined data center, yeah. it's different decision makers to go. When I talk to users here, they, they're in charge of compute, right. virtualization. That's what they know, that's what they love it for. Now they're going to talk to a more business conversation to a CIO, even to a CFO, CFO, to create the software defined data center, which has significant impact on how available it is and what cost for running it. Okay. Now, I'm a business guy, okay, so I'm a CFO. How would you, in simple terms, explain the kind of value proposition they're trying to put forward? Well, they were trying to decouple the same thing, like, they're trying to redo what they did for the compute. Right. For storage and for network. Okay. Right? And it's actually thinking through the whole process which they were doing before. Only, and that's the good news in the differentiator, they've been doing it for the most expensive resource. Right. And their pitch is basically look, we're owned by AMC. Yeah. We can do the storage part, we also the storage part of them out. Yeah. They bought NICERA to understand better the software defined networking space. And they claim rightfully to a certain point that they know that already because when you virtualize the hyper service, you have to transport network traffic to them. So they say they inherently own piece of that piece already. Right. Yeah. And the benefit is significantly more elasticity. Right. Yeah. And okay. the pitch they have when there's lots of questions about it is they can move to the hybrid piece and offload some of these pieces to the public cloud or to their hybrid public cloud. Okay. You've been talking to customers. How many of them are going to the cloud? Public or, or hybrid? Well, this is the danger we're always in, right? Because we talk to the vendors, we yeah. talk to the references. In Silicon Valley, there's the hype, right? <laughs> I had my real tech going to the normal business lunch. Yeah. And I was at lunch today with uh, people from a retailer, yeah. a grocery store, very often the bank and healthcare. Right. And none of them had done anything in the public cloud. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. They were not even looking at it. Yeah. The bank guy said, I can't get my business there. They were from the Midwest, all of them based in the US. Right. Um, the healthcare guy is also from the Midwest, says, is there even hyper for the public cloud coming? Right. And the retail guy said, yeah, that's actually interesting, but we haven't done anything yet. So, so, there's, so in that sense, I mean, hyper was, is a long way in advance of reality. But you, this must have been a surprise to you. I mean, we're at an right. event where right. well, there's, a, there's a lot of this sort of cloud-related stuff going on, and yet there are three customers or potential customers who say, no, no. Well, the, the outside world is that VMware is long-term dead, right? right? Because other people are eating the, their pie or their cake on yeah. the virtualization of the compute side, right? right? But it looks like they're not so far away from where their customers are, which is a good place to be. Right. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think the future holds for them and their customers as things stand today? I think that the future for them is they have significant challenge to build a lot of software, right? Uh, software companies do well usually when they do one thing really well. Mm -hmm. And there is no question VMware has done right on the virtualization of the compute side. Right. But doing the same good job on the data, data side and the storage side, doing the same on the networking side, showing all that on the management side, and then moving the offloading of that into the public cloud. It's like three things they need to get right. And I, I asked that question in the press meeting to their CEO, Pat Gelsinger, and he said, gave me, came back to me and said, look, if you would not do one of these, you guys would say, ah, the management part is missing, oh, the networking part is missing. Right? You have to do it all. So I think they slept a little bit at the wheel. 
Right. And now they have to catch up, but we can't hold it against them because I think they're executing on the right thing. Yeah, yeah. And the, the most appealing thing is nobody knows better than VMware what is running in the private data center. Right. 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 And if they can kind of like bring that back to a CIO and say, look, I know you're running against the wall too much. I offer you transparently a way to go to the public cloud for mm -hmm. that load mm -hmm. for a price which is better than what I know you want internally. Right. I think that's a very good offering to have. Right. They have to build a software for that. They haven't done that yet. Mm -hmm. Now, the good news is the ecosystem is doing that. Right. Some vendors in the ecosystem of Showfloor offer tools already to do that right now. Okay. And they're acquisition targets for VMware, mm -hmm. or they're going to get a big piece of the So that's another reason why we're seeing a lot of these key outfits down there, because they're, they're appealing directly to the business because they're ahead of the curve in that sense. That's right, but the funny thing is everybody's there. Right. The guys who lost the most of the VMware success are the hardware guys. Yeah, yeah. Still you find HP, Dell, name them yeah, on the yeah, shop yeah. floor, right? Yeah, because yeah. they still have to play well with VMware with virtualization. So pretty much everybody's there. Yeah, and uh, I, always, I always look at the show floor, and usually the show floor looks like this from yeah. a vertical perspective, right? A mud horn in the middle, yeah, where yeah, the yeah, vendor yeah. is. And this looks like the house. Right, right, right. right there's right. two rows on the outside of poor company or interesting <laughs> startup company who, who just brought their roller decks. And, so, and uh, I have not seen that. I mean, for instance, the same is interesting because you can compare it, right? Open World is here. Yeah. Much bigger in that, three times the attendance, this 20,000. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, Dreamforce is there. Yeah, yeah. claim to have the same. Yeah, yeah. But the show floor looks very, very different. Right, right, very, right. Very, right. very different. Much more money in here right now. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, so even though this is very geeky stuff, business should take notice of it. It might just have to learn a, f a few more terms that it's unfamiliar with. Yeah. There, there are significant savings, and the big question stepping back from this, right? How is load going to go to the public cloud? Right. Is it going to be moving your stuff in your data center to the public cloud? Or is it going to be you buying a new SaaS based apps where you say, hey, I don't care where it wants. Right, right, right. And that will be important for VMware how to dominate their future, how, how well they will do in their future. Okay. Holger, the man who knows. Great to see you, young man. Likewise. Good to see you, Dennis. Cheers. Thank you. Heard it here, here first, boys and girls. Till the next time.